Hey guys, it's mail call day. So I went to the post office today uh, to do a bit of mailing and I found a couple of packages. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, I want to open them up and share them with you. So I'm using my handy dandy little Gerber knife here with a sharp, sharp blade on it. So these packages actually come from Norm uh, at True North. So thank you very much, Norm. There's a lot of tape there. I guess you didn't want anybody peeking in on this en route. So I don't want to wreck anything. So I'm going to just open this up very carefully. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Oh, cool. Haha, <laughs> that's awesome. Wow. So Norm and I did a photograph exchange, which is pretty cool. Um, really special to have something that, uh, you know, someone else uh, prepared for you. So I sent him a picture, one of my trail camera pictures tightened up a bit. It was the one of the eagle versus coyote, you know, where the eagle is reaching out and trying to grab the coyote. And I remember Norm had a really special picture actually taken by his father back in the 1940s uh, up in the Arctic. And so this is the photo taken by his dad, Charlie Schwader. And what you can see here is, you know, Charlie's homemade um, goose decoys. So you can see the body looks like it's made out of, um, you know, looks like it's made out of sort of plant material there and the head and neck is actually a goose head and neck. Um, so they're placed up, you know, out here, looks like, you know, on the tundra, ready to attract geese in for a goose hunt. So this is a really special picture. Um, Norm's dad, from what I've understood, he uh, helped a lot of Inuit people up in the Arctic um, during a phase of mass starvation that was ongoing. So it's really special to have one of these, one of his photographs actually, and I'm gonna put this up at the cabin. I've got a special spot for it. And I wanna thank Norm for the, uh, the photo exchange here. It's just awesome uh, to have this. It's really, really a special photograph. I really like it a lot. Um, very unique. You don't see it that often. I wanted to give a shout out to Darren Chiron at Mon R in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Darren worked with Norm to put together uh, this picture to have it reprinted and done so very nicely in this frame. And he also uh, you know, helped Norm do the framing um, and the matting of the trail cam pick. So awesome job guys, I really appreciate it. I know Darren, uh, you went out of your way to kind of help out with this and uh, everything turned out really, really well. So uh, Darren also has a YouTube channel and I'm gonna put the link to Darren's channel and Norm's channel down below. On to the second box. You know, I was at the post office, Norm, and the uh, post office attendant thought that I got mandarin oranges from someone. <laughs> I had to tell him, no, that's not exactly what it was, but good guess. Right, so I've opened the second box here. It looks like I've got a couple of things in here from Norm. First off, um, something that's really gonna help me out is the Moultrie camera power panel. So this is fantastic. Norm had this but wasn't using it anymore and uh, knows that I just love my trail cameras, but I'm having some problems keeping them um, operational below minus 25. So we were chatting and um, you know, up north, you know where Norm's from in the Churchill area. Um, some of those areas people are using trail cameras with the solar power recharger um, to keep the batteries going. As you can see behind me, it started snowing already. We've had a bit of a storm. Not as much snow as we thought we were gonna get, but uh, you know, it's coming, the cold is coming. So thank you, Norm, for this. I appreciate it. Uh, I know that you weren't using this anymore, so I'd gladly take it off your hands and I'll have to report back as to how it works for me. So I was just reading about how this works, and so there's actually a 12 volt battery within inside this, which is great. For some reason, I thought you could attach it to a, a car battery, um, but that's awesome. It's already in here, um, and it's got the mode buttons here and on and off. And this part right here plugs into my uh, trail camera. 
so it will keep it powered and there's like a little screw plate on here that I can attach it to a board and kind of attach it to a tree in the sun. So I'm going to have to keep you guys updated as to how this is working for me. So I see there's another couple things in here. So I've got well, cardboard. <laughs> I want to make sure it wasn't going to slide around or anything in there. Plastic bag. <laughs> oh, Norm. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're too funny. <laughs> Prem luncheon meat. And he attached a little sticker that I put on his Vienna sausages that I uh, packed to send uh, when he won my giveaway contest a while back. So <laughs> the joke continues. So I suppose you want to see me eat this. So challenge accepted. All right, so let's get this little key going here. Yummy. Mm-mm-mm. Prem. Oh man, I just, oh, there's like a layer of fat. Glistening white fat on the edge there. Awesome. Okay. Oh, listen to that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> mm -mm. Let's try it. Now, I must admit, I've never tried this before, so, well, I guess I have in the Vienna sausage form. So, I guess I'll reserve my judgment. I'll give it a try. It's not too bad. It definitely smells like ham. A little salty. This actually isn't bad. Oop, got a good chunk of fat on there. It's all right, actually. I would take this over the Vienna sausages any day. Mmm. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Norm, uh, for the great photo exchange. That was really awesome. I've got a really special spot for it uh, at the cabin, so I'll be able to enjoy it ongoing. And I also want to thank you as well um, for the uh, solar-powered um, battery uh, for my trail cams. Uh, I'm going to get a lot of use out of it this winter for sure, and I'll have to report back to you as to how it's working. I might even make like a little... Uh, enclosure for it out of uh, some styrofoam as well just in case it needs that little extra help but I think as long as the battery remains charged um, things should run much like a car battery as long as it's charged you know it'll help your car turn over at minus 30 one hopes so we'll give it a whirl and uh, yeah I'm a uh, I'll uh, try click or spam or prim wasn't that bad actually I must say so thanks for the snack <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great week and we'll talk to you soon.